Finnegan here, your Sega Genesis geek, and today we're talking about, uh, not exactly a Sega Genesis classic, we're talking about the Dune games on Sega Genesis, because there's two of them, right, the two Dunes of Sega Genesis. So we actually talked about the two Dunes I got on VHS, so now we're going to talk about the two Dunes on Sega Genesis, because... Why are there two of them? I don't know. But, but I mean, they, 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 one of them is actually on the Sega Genesis. The other is on Sega CD, right? But that, that, that is the Sega Genesis. I mean, what the fuck Sega CD is, is a thing that hooks up to the side of the Sega Genesis. You can't have one without the other. So it's on the Sega Genesis, is what I'm saying. So let's just talk about that one first. Dune on the Sega CD, which is actually kind of like a playable version of the Dune movie from 1984. In fact, starts up just like the 1984 Dune, with Virginia Madsen's fat fucking face floating in space, telling you about the history of the fucking universe. And it's just as enthralling as it was on VHS. In fact, in fucking Sega CD vision, it's even better, where the fucking face fades out into the fucking stars. Because it's all that crappy fucking, you know, pixelized graphics just... Looks great, guys. Looks fucking great. But, you know, as, as you can tell, this is a full motion video game. Features a lot of full motion video right out of the fucking Dune movie. And, uh, and, and, and like, it's a playable role-playing game. You're, like, wander around, rackish. And, uh, you know, you're, you're fucking, you know, of course, you're fucking playing Paul Atreides of the House of Atreides. And you're, like, walking around and doing stuff. And, uh, it's kind of interesting. I'm not a big fan of role-playing games, honestly. I like shooter games and fighting games and stuff like that. I'm not a big fan of role-playing games. But this is pretty engaging because there's full-motion video sequences. You can, like, fly around the dunes of Arrakis and stuff like that. You know, it's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. You know, and it was originally released on the PC. It's a pretty badass PC game. Converted over to Sega CD. Pretty awesome. Hell yeah. Yeah, that game came out in like 1992, right? And then there was another version of Dune that came out in like 1993. The following year, we got Dune Battle for Arrakis on the Sega Genesis. In fact, it's on the Sega Genesis cartridge, which is crazy. You don't often see a game released on CD and then, and then the fucking sequels released on cartridge. It doesn't happen very often, but here it is. And this is a sequel. It's also called Dune 2, right, in some markets. But here in America, it's called Dune Battle for Arrakis. And it is kind of like a sequel to Dune. But it doesn't really follow the storylines of the actual sequel to Dune. Uh, which, like, Dune Messiah, and then there's another book called The Children of Dune. It doesn't follow that shit, no. In fact, it's more or less just more shit from the original Dune, right? Where, where, you know, you know you're know you spice mining, you gotta build these little refineries. And, uh, yeah, it's like a battle strategy game, where you gotta fight opposing armies, and mine for spice, and avoid, you know, getting eaten by worms and shit. You know, that kind of thing. But, but we actually, you could play as the House of Trades, or you could play as House Harkonnen. You could actually play as the bad guys. Yeah, <laughs> and destroy the Atreides. Yeah, you could play as the bad guys, actually... And the bad guys can win. Woo, that's kind of cool. <laughs> it's nice you can play as different armies and shit. It's actually a third army you can play as. These fucking guys. I don't know who they are. Uh, they, they, they're not in the movies as far as I can tell. I mean the books. I don't know. I never read the books. But um, it's a third fucking army. Which they very well might have made up just for the fucking game. I don't know. But, you know, there's a third army you can play as. So, right. You can play as House Atreides, House Harkonnen, or House whoever the fuck. And, you know, battle for Arrakis, right? Yeah, so that's kind of cool. But again, I'm not a big fan of role-playing games and battle strategy shit. No, not, it's not exactly my cup of tea, but, you know, there it is. There's two fucking Dune games on the Sega Genesis, for what it's worth. You know, that's crazy, right? <laughs> they released, well, like, with, within a year of each other. Actually, both games were developed by completely different people, you know? Different developers, different software companies came up with these different games. They, 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 they're not, in, in fact, related at all. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of crazy. But, yeah. <laughs> See, why are there two fucking Dune games on Sega Genesis? What is that? I still don't know. But, 
Wait, 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 there you go. Toadone Games on Genesis. The Toadones of Sega Genesis. Right? I also did a video about the Toadones on VHS. If you want to check that out, you can. You know, um, or if you already checked it out. I got some other videos you can check out or some other shit. You know what I'm saying? Or you can do whatever the fuck you please. I don't care. It's up to you. What? <laughs> anyway, till fucking next time. Keep it fucking real!